For better or worse, I use Apple Music every day and I've been subscribed to it for several years. And if you're an Apple Music user, you'll want to know these 10 tips and tricks. Also, if you want to win an iPhone SE, today is the last day to enter my giveaway, so leave a like on this video and check the description to enter. Starting out with number one is the ability to download your whole music library, because Apple doesn't actually give you the ability to do this, which is stupid, but if you're preparing for a road trip or have a high capacity device and want all of your music to be available offline, the best method I found actually requires a computer. I know, annoying, but it takes about 15 seconds. So go into iTunes on your computer that's signed in with the same Apple ID as your iOS device, then go to File, New, Smart Playlist, and then Match Music Turned On, and then do Time Greater Than Zero Seconds with No Limit and Live Updating. This will automatically put all songs that are greater than zero seconds into a playlist and it will update it automatically as you add new songs. Then on your iOS device, you'll find the playlist and you can download it and you're all set. Number two is the ability to kind of get Spotify's year in review feature, but it's not quite as good. So you can go to music.apple.com slash replay and it'll give you your last several years of listening data and favorite artists and more. But currently doing this, it'll just give you your 2020 playlist and data for your most listened to music. But at the end of the year, it'll give you a better recap. Number three, you can actually make smart playlists on iTunes with whatever parameter you want, including layering them. So just as I showed you with the all music playlist, you can find your top played songs or all the songs that you favorited or all songs that are greater than 10 minutes, etc. There's a lot of fun things you can do if you want to organize your music systematically. Number four, if you want Apple Music to learn your taste faster and more accurately, you can use the love and play less often options when listening to music. This will help music know and cater its suggestions better for you. Speaking of suggestions, my favorite discovery tool is the Create Station button. If there's a song playing and you want to hear a similar vibe or just other related songs that other users listen to, click the three dot menu button followed by Create Stations. This will finish the song you're listening to, so it won't clear it, and then it'll queue up two songs at a time that are similar. It's a pretty solid discovery option. Now, if you want every new song that you add to your library to automatically download to your device, you can turn that setting on in the music section in the settings app. This will make sure that every song that you add, it'll also download for offline listening. Number seven, if you want to add songs to a playlist, but you don't want it to flood your library, you can turn that setting off too in the settings app. Doing so will allow you to add songs to a playlist, such as my white noise playlist, without it coming up in shuffle play because it's not in my library. Number eight, you can actually wake up to any song if you're on Apple Music. So in the alarm section, go to sound and then music and you can choose any song you want. Pretty simple. Just choose something that you're not going to sleep through. Number nine, there are two great lyric options for songs that support these features. You can click on the three dots and then hit lyrics and this will just give you a simple text view. You can also use the control on the bottom left of the now playing screen that gives you an immersive, beautiful, real-time lyric view. You can also scroll and click a specific line and jump to that part of the song. It's really great. And number 10, pretty simple, but if you're trying to save battery, data, or otherwise, you can always listen exclusively to your downloaded music tab and even add that to your homepage. I do this a lot and it's great for road trips or anytime that you're just trying to save battery or save on your streaming. So those are 10 great and simple tips for music on your iOS device or even your Mac. Let me know what you think down below and if you have any great tips, let me know. Thanks for watching.